Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and I have tried out the best products from The Ordinary that can help you to treat dark spots which were caused by previous pimples in this case and also how they performed over an entire month. As I've used them on different areas on my body and based on that I can also share with you now the comparison, also how it worked, what felt the best, where I had a few like complications during the trial and also this like basically sharing with you the pictures so that you also can see the improvements and based on that I may can also help you to find a combination that also may work the best for your skin concern. Now I do want to mention that I haven't had any of those dark spots on my face. I had two spots on my neck as well as under my belly button as well as on my leg. So those are different areas on my body and based on that I've also used different products. And I've used them for an entire month, used them daily and also took daily pictures which in the separate videos which I have on my channel also shared them with you. But now I'm going to narrow it down, I'm going to talk about the different products products and also my personal favorite of all of them and also what has worked the best in my opinion based on my experience. And so I want to get started immediately with the first product that I've tried. Those are actually three products that I've used also on my neck as I used to have two pimples they caused like dark spots and based on that I wanted to lighten them and um, go like make them go away even quicker. And so here you can also see what the like spots look like as well as how they have improved over time starting off with day one then also going over to day 15 as well as day 30. Now for my neck area specifically I used three products. I started off with applying the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution specifically as a spot treatment with the cotton pads and then I went ahead and used one drop of niacinamide as well as one drop of alpha arbutin and used it also on those two spots. And over time, as you can see also based on the pictures, you can see that they also started to fade away even quicker over that entire month. And basically the front one isn't visible anymore, the back one still has the core where it's a little bit darker and that's basically it. And so this is also where you can see the area right here and the front one isn't really noticeable anymore but it's the back one that is still a little bit more visible. So therefore going with this combination can also help you as you can see in the pictures to fade dark spots which were caused by previous pimples. However, I do want to mention also how I felt about it as well as also how it felt on the skin because this is also something that's important. If you don't like the feeling of it, you're not going to use it on a daily basis. So this is where it's also important to choose the right products, not only for your skin concern, but also so that it feels good on the skin. Now those are basically all water-based products. You have the exfoliant as well as two water-based serums. The feeling of it is great. I didn't use a moisturizer afterwards. I like kept it really with those three products. And the only like drawback I had mainly was with glycolic acid. But this can also depend on your skin tolerance as well as if you have a little bit more of a sensitive skin or if you're a little bit more resistant. Since sometimes I came across that not only that I had for one day kind of like a purging going on where little pimples would pop up around the area, this is mainly I believe because of glycolic acid, since I've never had any purging with niacinamide or alpha botin, but I had already troubles also when using it on my face with glycolic acid. So either it was kind of like a purging situation or my skin felt a little bit more irritated since I do believe for my skin specifically that when using glycolic acid daily it can irritate my skin quite a lot. And so therefore I also came sometimes across an itching. So whenever I would also apply it and then also apply the serums on top it felt like I needed to scratch my neck. And so this was kind of like an uncomfortable situation. But nonetheless, it did also improve my dark spots. So the improvements were there, but I had a few drawbacks based also on how my skin is basically working and also maybe a bit more sensitive. Some people have no problems at all with glycolic acid. They can use it without any like doubts. So that's good. But for me personally, this is not my biggest preference based on the kind of like irritation it also would like give me 
this only happens sometimes, not daily. So this is also something that I do want to mention. Now, alpha butene and niacinamide are also two lightening ingredients, so those can help you to also lighten the skin. I've also started uh, at the very beginning using alpha butene on its own on my neck area, which wasn't really that strong and effective based on the dots that I had. Therefore, I also added niacinamide and glycolic acid. And with those three products together, it did show some amazing improvements. So this is also something that I do want to mention on how I've used Use them. I've used them daily, morning and evening. And so based on that, it also did help in my situation. Now I want to move on to the next product, which was also under my belly button. There was a pimple and then it went away, left a red mark, and I wanted to get rid of it as quickly as possible, or at least see some improvements over time. And on my belly button, I did try out Ordinary as Lake Acid Suspension 10% which still is also kind of a brightening um, acid, but it also comes as a suspension which has like a cream-like feeling. And here you can also see the pictures on how the area looked under my belly button. It started off with day one with a red mark. And then over time it also started to fade away. And now after a month, I basically have a very light kind of brown, brown area going on. So I do have to say that over that month, it was quite impressive on also how it um, kind of healed, healed my skin also under my belly button. One thing that I do really like about as like as it is, first of all, it's a cream. It's easy to apply. It also feels great on the area where I've used it. I use it as a spot treatment, let it sink in and then basically blended it into the skin. And what I did notice over time is that it would make my skin very smooth. Um, under my belly button. So this area is now very smooth, plus it also has shown some improvements over time, which is also quite impressive. Now I do also want to mention that I've used them on specific areas on my body. I didn't use them on my face, since on my face I do not really get those dark marks. They only happen basically from my neck downwards. Um, why? I don't know, but I still wanted to give it a try and see how they also would perform over time. And so yeah, with Aslake Acid, it's a very simple product. I've used Aslake Acid on its own under my belly button. I did not use any other products on it. I've also used it in the morning and evening. I never really came across any issues. It never itches. I've never had any uh, like skin irritation whatsoever. So this was also actually a great product that also not only could sh show me some improvements over that entire month, but it also felt great on the skin. So based on that, I did really also like the Aslake Acid, not only feeling-wise, but also how it improved my skin. And now I also want to share with you the last product, which I also used on my leg. Now I used to have two pimples on my leg. Again, they left a dark mark. And I started to also try the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid and Alpha Albutin. Now, ascorbic acid is basically the pure form of vitamin C, and then you also have alpha butene, which also is a brightening ingredient. And using those two together in one serum is also very handy. And I've used it as a spot treatment. I've used it alone with like no other product. I've also applied it daily in the morning and evening on my leg area every time I was basically done um, after the shower. And here you can also see the pictures. Now, those are the two spots. This is what it looked like on day one. Then you have day 15 and day 30. And I do feel like that over the time you can see, especially also the top spot, started to fade away during that entire month, as well as the bottom one isn't as noticeable anymore. Of course, you have to keep in mind that I've only used those specific products for an entire month. Usually when also using such uh, like treatments, you have to use them for around like eight to 12 weeks so that you also can see the full improvement. So seeing such improvements with all of the products for only an entire month is impressive. And so I did also really like how the ordinary alpha butene and um, ascorbic acid serum would perform. Now I do want to mention one thing, I never really came across any irritation or like side effects uh, while using it since I've used it daily, but I had a few troubles when it comes to the texture and also how it would sink into the skin. The texture is great, it feels very smooth, it's not kind of oily but not really oily, it's a very special 
like feeling it feels very comfortable in my opinion and I did really like it but it wouldn't sink into the skin um, like the best way so I had to leave my leg like with no pants on for some time so that it also could sink into the skin before I would also like basically wear my clothes again so this was kind of like a drawback compared to the other products but feeling wise and also how it also uh, lightened those stubborn dark spots on my leg was impressive now I haven't used those well I have already used those products also on my face but not for such a long time so feeling wise I do really like the ordinary ascorbic acid and alpha obutin as well as the aslake acid suspension so those two are definitely two products where I had no concerns as well as on like how it felt and also the improvements with glycolic acid I do have to say um, that's not my favorite exfoliating solution um, if you're a little bit more sensitive you may also want to try out lactic acid or mandelic acid instead if you have no problems with glycolic acid at all go for it I mean this depends on your skin but for me personally the best product that I truly love and that I'm going to continue using because I feel like it was the most effective was also the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid and Alpha Arbutin. So that's my personal big winner on how it also performed during that entire month. But I still want to also mention the other products as well. Now as a final, I basically put also the... Um, the pictures together so that you also can see the comparison you have on one side always day one on the other side always day 30 and those are basically the improvements which i could see over time while using also the different products and um, yeah i mean i do hope that now with this kind of conclusion or wrap up video with a different light like, lightning products i could also give you an idea of what you could try out if you're suffering from similar spots as I do and please be patient when also using them you won't see the effect right away it doesn't happen overnight you have to use it for some time and I've used them only for an entire month and I could already see some improvements but they're still a bit visible so it's not completely done yet but I'm working on it but still I want to give you some options also share with you my thoughts as well as my experience during the entire month and yeah that's basically what i also want to wrap it up if you want to see the separate videos um, with the separate products that i've used on the specific areas though you can also find them at the end of this video if you are interested but this is basically my conclusion if you have a similar situation going on you now know what you could look for and hopefully I also can help you with my suggestions on how you can use them so that you also will see similar results for yourself over time. One thing I can recommend is before you're starting off with a product, take a picture from that specific area, try to get the same light, which is really important, and then over time take some pictures so that you can see for yourself if an improvement happens. And based on that, you can continue using it or do any changes. This has helped me a lot. Otherwise, it's difficult if you see yourself in a mirror all the time and you think like it's not going to work. But if you're seeing it over a specific time, you will notice the difference or no difference at all, which is great by taking a picture. Now this is also what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find this one helpful. If you did, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and listening to me. And I will see you soon in the next one. And happy skin caring. Bye.